Hey guys, what's up? It's X Superist here, and today I'll be reacting to episode 5 of Avatar The Last Airbender. In the previous episode, we got to visit Kiyoshi Island, where Aang and the gang met the Kiyoshi warriors, and they learned some new things, both Sokka and Aang. Now they're since, since they were being chased off by Zuko, they're on the run again. They're looking for another... I mean, I'm guessing they're looking for the route to the Northern Water Tribe, but they'll probably make a lot of pit stops along the way. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go and how the journey will be like, but I think that's the fun of the whole adventure. You don't know what's going to be next. Anyway, so without further ado, this is episode 5 of Avatar The Last Airbender. Hey guys, before we continue with the reaction, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new uploads. And with that, let's go back to the reaction. Alright, the King of Omashu. Okay. Wow, they they reached Omashu, the Earth Kingdom, bef before they go to wa the the Northern Water Tribe. He's going to meet Boomy first before he goes to train for water bending. Okay, so this one I believe I watched before. I just don't remember every detail in the episode uh, in the episode. But I do remember him meeting Boomy. Ooh, harsh. Yeah, they ride it like a roller coaster. That's so menacing. <laughs> Riding next to a... Oh my gosh! <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm bald one. Had a lopsacopolis. Wow. That's a tongue twister right there. He's gonna choose Boomy. Which is the wrong choice, actually.
I think he's going to realize at some point that the King of Omash is actually his old friend, Bumi. Who he? Who is he? It's gonna be who he is. His name. He's a hundred and twelve years old. Do all this instead of just 
Just like good old times. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so this was a really fun episode. I do remember seeing this episode way, way back. I know that Aang met Boomy at some point, but I didn't know it was this early on in uh, the first season. But those were really interesting tests that he gave and the only gripe that i have with this is in the latter part when ang was trying to think about who the, the king was or what his name was it really he, it, it feels like they didn't really give much suspense it's like he said okay so i tried to in doing the challenges i tried to think of a different way of solving them i have to think out of the box and then right after that he says, I got it. I understand who this person is because, I mean, I don't think it's that difficult to try to figure out, but maybe a little bit more suspense? That's, that was the only gripe that I had. And the rest of the episode is really just that. The reunion between Boomy and Aang. And just the fact that Boomy is 112 years old and he's still that ripped and strong. That's amazing. What is, maybe it's all the rotten cabbages that he's been eating. Or the rock candy. Jokes were good. Rocky. <laughs> uh, the timing on Boomy, the crickets, the deadpan jokes, the dry jokes. Loved all of those. It was really fun. Uh, I really liked it. Uh, I knew it was going to happen at one point. I didn't know when, but I'm glad that it was episode five that we get to see Boomy. The, the last memory that I had of Boomy later on would be during the battle, but that's gonna be much, much later on. So this one, yeah. Hopefully now they're just going to travel to the Northern Water Tribe. There will be some secrets that are going to be revealed in that episode or during that arc. But I like this episode, I, I also enjoyed it. it. It feels like it's starting to become a little bit more exciting and the pacing is also somewhat getting better. They're removing a lot of the unnecessary fluff. Although there are still some, I guess, filler jokes here and there. Dialogue also, I think, needs to improve a bit because it, it doesn't seem like there's enough, or it doesn't seem like they have the proper cadence for some of the dialogue. It's like there's no transition between from one dialogue to the next sometimes. But apart from that, I think it's overall a really good series so far. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching until the end of this video. Click here to subscribe and check out these two videos for more fun content. See you in the next one.